Howdy. Brandon DeShaw here, Lab Director, Global Energy Labs. Let's talk about whether or not you may have frac sand. Uh, this is episode one, frac sand size. And the way that we're going to determine uh, the size of your sand is by doing what's called a sieve analysis. And what a sieve analysis is, we use calibrated sieves, which are um, screens at a certain size, and then you put a pan on the bottom and you shake them uh, in a sieve shaker like this one that I'm showing right now on the screen. You shake that for 10 minutes and then you figure out where did the sand fall out and what is the sand size and then uh, you can punch that into a, a spreadsheet and have it calculate uh, what percentage of the sand you would expect to find uh, at each size so the big question is do you have the size of sand that the market wants now the end users, the customers, uh, the guys that are doing, guys and girls, excuse me, that are doing uh, hydraulic fracturing are buying multiple sizes. Uh, you can go to downholetrader.com and look at all the available sizes that Jen sells through her site there. Um, and they're called out by the standard sieve size. So they've got 20 to 40, uh, 20, 70. 30, 50, 30, 70, 40, 70. So there's a wide variety of sizes that are being sold to these customers. And the question is, do, do you have enough of those sizes in your sand uh, to make it feasible to sell? Uh, so the test, pretty straightforward. Just uh, put it on a shaker for 10 minutes, figure out uh, how much of the sand falls out at each weight and see if it makes sense uh, to go forward. A um, couple things with the sieve analysis that you want to be sure of, whatever lab you use. Okay, you want to make sure that the lab uh, is clean and practices just good old laboratory anal retentiveness. Okay. Um, what I mean there, uh, the screens are capturing the sand particles. So it's common for the screens to hold sand particles even after the test is done. You want to make sure that the lab is uh, religiously cleaning those test sieves after each use and before they ever put your sand in it um, because someone else's sand particles could contaminate your results and uh, jack up the whole thing. Um, you want to make sure that they are weighing the sieves carefully using calibrated scales. Uh, just good old-fashioned laboratory practices. 